welcome home. Cyberpunk 2077 is shaping up to be a massive game. And with it being a massive open world, one might expect that it may feature some procedurally generated content. We've seen procedural generation used in a number of titles, whether it be for adaptive gameplay like generated environments in No Man's Sky and Minecraft, generated levels as seen in games like Dead by Daylight, or even something like procedurally generated weapons in the Borderlands series. Procedural generation has all sorts of use cases. Sometimes it's actually a good thing, and it's not always just about the environment. With a game this big, it was expected that we could see some sort of use for the technology. However, that doesn't seem to be the case. Apparently, everything in Cyberpunk 2077 is done by hand. We got this information in a recent interview in which CD Projekt Red's lead cinematic animator, Masij Petraeus, was asked about how large players should expect the open world in Cyberpunk 2077 to be, leading to the developer explaining that measuring the size of the map would be difficult due to the verticality. During the explanation, he revealed that nothing in the world has been generated procedurally, stating that everything has been, in quotes, done by hand through, in quotes, manual creation. Here is the transcription of the interview done by Google Translate. To compare Cyberpunk 2077 to The Witcher 3, let's say that the world of the latter was very vast in its length. It was an open world made of very large natural landscapes. Going from point A to point B took a lot of time because you were riding, but also because it was a game that stretched horizontally. The world of Cyberpunk 2077 is above all a vertical world, with buildings everywhere. And in this, it is difficult for us to establish a metric comparison. The game will allow you to enter many buildings, knowing that everything was done by hand because we believe that quality comes first through manual creation, nothing is procedural in our world. It is in this that the city of Night City will be vast to go thanks to this verticality. Which is honestly surprising to me, as I was fully expecting a massive map that was still quality but had vertical buildings that use procedurally generated content. But I have to say, I love the direction that they're going with this game. Not worrying much about the horizontal plane of the map size and ensuring the map is filled with quality verticality that is done by hand. CD Projekt Red is truly going for quality over quantity in Cyberpunk 2077, and this is nothing but great news. I also have no doubt that the game will be filled with content, so I'm not saying it's going to be a small or short game by any means. I think Cyberpunk 2077 will be the best example of a dense, quality-filled game world, one like we've never seen before. And even with that said, I'm still not expecting the map to be small in terms of horizontal exploration either. I think Cyberpunk 2077 will strike a balance and one that has been proven very hard to achieve in open world games. So let me know down in the comment section below, what is your thoughts on Cyberpunk 2077 not including procedurally generated content? I'd love to see what you all have to say, but that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, please smack that like button down below, subscribe to join the good fight if you haven't already, and ring the bell icon to stay updated on all of my future videos would be super greatly appreciated as always and until next time this is epoxy signing off <laughs>